Hello, youngster, how are you? Welcome back to our class. All right, today we are going to work on our class number 13, all right? And to start, we are going to start by checking the homework from previous class. As you can see here, get ready for movers, pages seven and eight, exercise one, two, and from page eight, exercise number one. Are you ready? Okay, prepare your books and we're going to start by checking, by checking the homework. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Well, here we are. Are you ready to start sharing your answers through the chat? Okay, very good. Here in this exercise, you must write the opposites, okay? And you have to pay attention to the words inside the box. So in number one, we have small and the opposite is big, all right? What about the second exercise? What about number two? We can see here the woman is tall, all right? What about this girl? What do you think? Come on, write your answer on the chat. The woman is tall and the girl is very good, short, excellent. Come on, let's go to exercise number three. Take a look to this person. We can say that this man is old. What about the other man? Come on, write your answer on the chat, come on. Yes, very good. If you wrote young, it's all right. Very good. Excellent. Now, number four. Look at these pencils. The first one is short. And if we take a look to the box, we can say that the second pencil is... Very good, children. Long. Excellent. Very good. Now, let's go to page number eight. And here in this exercise, you must listen to an audio and complete these spaces. So I'm going to put play and at the same time, I'm going to complete these spaces, all right? So please check your books and check if they are, the answers you wrote are all right. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Seven, listen and check. One. The orange scarf is longer than the gray scarf, but the purple scarf is the longest. 2. The yellow tree is taller than the red tree, but the green tree is the tallest. 3. The blue flower is smaller than the white flower, but the pink flower is the smallest. Very good. Did you, did you check your answers? Are them all right? Okay, very good. Excellent, excellent people. But wait a minute. Here we have another exercise to check here. On page seven, we have exercise number two, okay? Here you have to look and write. Pay attention to the words inside the box. And here we are going to write comparatives, all right? In this exercise, you must take a look to this very important word, than, okay? So in this exercise, you must write the adjectives, the short adjectives using ER at the end, and then you have to write than. So please try to write your answer through the chat, on the chat, come on, to complete exercise number two. The man, which is the adjective that you used here, the man, blah, 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 the woman, so here in this exercise, we must write is younger and then this important word, than the woman. Very good. Now, what about the woman? The woman, come on, write your answer on the chat, which is the adjective that we can use here. Yes, very good. Is older than, than the man. Very good. You have to complete the other part here. Very good. Let's correct number three. The green book is, take a look to the adjective you have here. So the green book is, I want to see your answers on the chat, come on. Yes, very good, is bigger. And here we use the word than, don't forget this word. Okay, now we must write the entire sentence. Are you ready to write the entire sentence on the chat? Come on, I want to see that answer. Yes, very good. You must take a look to this book, the red book. So we are going to write over here. 
the red book is smaller in this case, very good, sorry, smaller, and then we use this important word, than, excellent children, the green book, very good, excellent. Well, we have already finished with the homework. So now let's go back to the virtual classroom. And here we can see our first page for today's class, Discover English, page 42. So let's go. Well, here, as you can see, we have this text that is called Sydney, all right? What are we going to do here? We are going to listen to an audio and at the same time, we are going to follow the text, okay? So pay attention to this story and at the same time, pay attention to the audio. Are you ready? Okay, let's listen. Exercise one, read and listen. Where did the Streeter family go? Where did they want to go? Every month, we have a funny story on Discovery. This one is our favourite. Meet the Streeters. The Streeter family wanted to go to Sydney, Australia. Dad bought their plane tickets on the internet. Our cousin Stephen back in Sydney, says Jess. It's a fantastic city. It's got the most famous harbour in the world, an Olympic stadium and the best beaches. I took a lot of swimsuits. When I got off the plane, they had a surprise. They were in Sydney, Canada. Dad bought tickets to the wrong place, says Jess. It was funny at first, but Sydney is small and quiet. The people are very friendly, but Australia is more exciting. It's cold and wet in Canada, and we didn't take jumpers, says Max. It isn't the worst place for a holiday. There's a shopping centre and a nice town square, but it isn't Australia. Bad luck, kids. Maybe next year. All right, very good. But now I'm going to ask you kids and I want to see your answers on the chat. What's the matter? What's the matter in this story? If I say what's the matter, it's the same as saying what's the problem? Could you tell me what's the matter here in this story? Come on. Something happened with a plane. Well, I'm going to show you the text again for you. you can see it, all right? Can you tell me what's the matter? Well, very good. They took the wrong plane, all right? They took the wrong plane, excellent. Here we can see, all right, that here we have this sentence, take a look, that bought tickets to the wrong place. Estaban en el lugar equivocado, se equivocaron de lugar, all right? They must go to Sydney, Australia, and they went to Sydney, Canada, okay? Well, now, here in exercise number one, it says, where did the Streeter family go? Where did they go? Can you tell me through the chat? All right, yes, we can say here, I'm going to write the answer here, okay? Just a minute. Yeah, here, very good. They, they went to, and here we have to write the name of the place, Sydney, Canada, all right? And here we have another question. Take a look to this question. Where did they want to go? Where did they want to go? So can you answer these question, people, through the chat? Yes, very good. They wanted to go to, can you tell me where? Yes, it's another place, Sydney, Australia. Very good, excellent. Now, let's do exercise number two. Here, it says read again and match. Can you see these two circles? Well, we must write all these adjectives in this circle and in this one. Okay, so we know that Sydney, Canada is wet. What can we say about Sydney, Australia? All right, well, 
Let's take a look to the adjectives here, all right? For example, what can we say, for example, about Sydney, Canada? Sydney, Canada, here. Can you see it? Sydney, Canada. Okay, very good. We have small and quiet. Can you see the words? Well, very good. So we're going to write the words over here. Um, just a second. Very good, small. Then we can say that is quiet. All right, what else, people? Can you tell me what else? Sydney, Canada is wet, is small, is quiet. What else did they say about it? Very good, they say that it was friendly too. So we are going to write friendly. Friendly, all right, very good. And remember that Sydney, Canada is cold too, all right? It's cold. All right, so we are going to write here cold. Yes? Okay, what about Sydney, Australia? If Sydney, Canada is cold, we are going to say that Sydney, Australia is hot, all right? And here we use this adjective over here, all right? Well, in exercise number three, we must compare the two cities, okay? Well, let's do this. Well, if we pay attention to these two adjectives, for example, we know that Sydney, Australia is hot, all right? Sorry. Just a second. Here we are. So if we say that Sydney, Australia is hot, all right, and we know that Sydney, Canada is cold, as you can see here, we can write the following sentence, for example. We can say this, Sydney, Canada is colder than Sydney, Australia. All right, so here we use colder with ER because it's a short adjective, and we don't forget this verb, this word, sorry, than. Sydney, Canada is colder than Sydney, Australia. All right, very good. Now we can take a look to this other sentence. Sydney, Australia is sunnier, sunnier than Sydney, Canada. All right, here we have a short adjective again. Did you understand? All right, if you have any doubt, if you have any question, you can ask your teacher through the chat. Now that we have already finished with this exercise, we are going to page 43, all right? And what can you see here? Very good, it's a grammar box. So I'm going to explain this grammar box for you. Let's take a look to the examples first. Let's read the first one. It's got the most famous harbor in the world, all right? Here we have the most famous harbor in the world. Then we have another example. It's got the best beaches, all right? Here we have the best. So let's take a look to the adjectives here. As you can see here, we have long adjectives. Can you see them? Exciting and famous, okay? Vamos a decir long adjectives cuando tengan dos o más sílabas, all right? ¿Qué es lo que pasa cuando tenemos adjetivos largos? All right. ¿Recuerdan que antes nosotros agregábamos more? Bueno, en este caso, cuando los adjetivos son largos, vamos a agregar la palabra more adelante. More exciting. O en este caso, more famous. En el caso de comparar una cosa con la otra. Ya cuando vamos a utilizar los superlativos, los superlatives, que lo estamos comparando con todo el resto, vamos a utilizar the most, for example, the most exciting, or the most famous. Ok, very good. Ahora aparecen adjetivos irregulares, ¿los ven? Irregular. ¿Qué significan irregular? Sí, very good. Como los verbos irregulares cambian. Entonces, en el caso de good, no vamos a poner more, vamos a decir Better. El comparativo es better. Yes. En el caso de hacer el superlative, vamos a decir the best. Presten atención que cambia y no solo cambia, sino que le agregamos el de adelante. The best. Lo mismo ocurre con el adjetivo bad. Bad se convierte en worse. Esto cuando hacemos comparativos. Cuando pasamos a los superlativos, miren cómo cambia. 
se convierte a the worst. All right? Esto es en el caso de los superlativos. Y recuerden, muy importante, los adjetivos irregulares. All right? Si tienen alguna duda, alguna pregunta, le pueden preguntar a la profe, ok, a través del chat. All right? Bueno, vamos a hacer lo siguiente. Let's go back to the text. And here, what, can, what we have to do? Okay, we have to look for those adjectives in this text. Yo los voy a ir marcando con color. ¿Les parece? ¿Qué tipo de adjetivos? Bien, los adjetivos que estuvimos viendo en la grammar box. All right? ¿Están listos para marcarlos conmigo? Buscamos adjetivos largos. All right? Well, I'm going to give you a few seconds for you to look for those adjectives. And Well, tell me, what did you find? For example, here I found here, most famous. Very good. Then here we have best. Do you remember best? It's a regular adjective. What else? Yes, here we have small, but this is long or this is a short adjective? Yes, it's a short adjective. So exciting is a long adjective all right very good did you find any other tell me here we have an irregular the worst place all right the worst place this is an irregular adjective okay okay so did you understand these long adjectives and irregular adjectives okay very good anyway we are going to continue working through soon with your teacher All right, children. Okay, see you next class. Bye.